What's going on everyone? My name is Eric and this is the Get Me Out of Here vlog. This is kind of a mini vlog. I was wanting to share my hotel that I'm staying at here in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin in the Door County region. Here's the sign right here. It says the White Birch Inn. So let me show you around the hotel. And yes, they do in fact have birch trees on the property. Just in case you were questioning whether that name were true or not, they do have birch trees. And here's the hotel right here on the hillside. Let's go on in and I'll show you around. Here's the parking lot. It almost looks like the back of the hotel, but this is actually the front. That's the grand entryway right there where the lights are. And actually my room is on the first floor right next to this side door. So I'm gonna sneak in the side, show you my room, and then we'll do a quick tour of the lobby and the restaurant. All right, so walking in the side door, it's very convenient. Here's a stairwell and here's my room. Room number 115 some flower art on the door and some blinds on the other side. This hotel does not have electronic keys. They've got these classic tags. You can see White Birch Inn, room 115. Gotta love these old school hotel keys. All right, let me show you inside. Whew. All right, the first thing that hits me is the musty air of this hotel room. It's not super overwhelming, but there is a smell of must in the room, mothballs, what have you. Let me open the blinds, the drapes, I should say. So there is my lovely view of a Jeep in the parking lot. All right, first impressions. Once your nostrils get accustomed to the permeating smell of mothballs, I do want to point out that I do like this glass tile that they have here by the front door. It's very 70s, very cool. And uh, I do like the old school furniture that they have in here as well. Take a look at this. It's even got wooden wheels on it. And I love this mock fireplace that they have in here as well. This is not real wood. Do not be fooled. This is fake wood, so do not try to start a fire in these fireplaces. They are all for decor. But I do like that. And some of this old antique furniture right here as well. You can sit here and put your makeup on. That's what I do every morning before I film. And I love this lamp. Look at this cool lamp, but it doesn't work. I tried pulling that, doesn't do anything. Doesn't have a light bulb, but it is very, very cool of like a Victorian era, like the late 1800s, early 1900s. And there's this awesome thermometer here as well and weather reader. It says that it is fair right now, even though it was raining a little bit earlier. Not sure if it still functions, but it is cool. It is a very kind of a Gilded Age feeling room. It, it kind of feels like you're sleeping in a late 1800s-esque cabin here in Wisconsin. And check this out too. They've got an old box TV, no flat screens at this hotel, an RCA boxed TV. I didn't even look to see if it works. I don't, I, I like never watch TV anymore. We're totally on the same wavelength here. Absolutely. Look how long it takes to turn on. I can hear it. Look at that. That took like 20 seconds to turn on. I miss the old box tube TVs. That is for sure. Very 90s. All right. So they've got in, that in here as well. Air conditioning is the classic Amana air conditioners that you see at most hotels here in the United States. And the bed itself is rather firm, but it's not bad, it's comfy. It does the job. And also gotta love more of the kind of Victorian era look. They've got the flower paintings here and um, these laced lamps. They're on the walls as well. It's kind of cool. You can adjust it if you want to read better at night. And uh, I thought this was kind of cool too. There's this bedside table. It actually has like little compartments that you put like newspapers or magazines in back in the day. So that's pretty cool too. Um, there's a spare bed if you have friends or other people in the room. If you meet people here in Sturgeon Bay and you bring them back, yeah, there's another bed if you need it. Um, not saying that I do that. And here is an ironing board. I actually had to request this at the front desk. It didn't come with the room when I checked in. So if you want to uh, 
look decent in the morning after uh, having all your clothes in a duffel bag, like I do, um, gotta have an iron. So, requested that from the front desk. Check this out, look at a uh, little sink area. Gotta love the cork on the faucet handles. It gets the job done. Now my favorite thing here is the bathroom, and I'll show you why. Take a look at this. At first glance, you're thinking, Eric, that's just a typical bathroom. What's, what's so exciting about this? Well, I will show you. So this normal looking bathtub has a whirlpool in it. Look at these whirlpool faucets. Oh yeah, it's got whirlpool jets and look at this old school whirlpool functioning here. I'm gonna test this baby out tonight. I'll get a few beers in me, have dinner, come back and relax and see how the jets flow. So yeah, this old school looking bathtub is actually a whirlpool bathtub. It's got these cork looking handles as well and it's got more of this glass backsplash, very 1970s-esque, this ugly looking tan brown color. And check out the tan toilet. It's almost like a brown and olive green wed. Ugh. But uh, very 70s looking. And uh, these really horrendous, ugly looking lacy shower curtains, but they get the job done. It's all good. I'm being too hard on this hotel. I actually really do like my stay here. Um, this is probably the scariest thing of all though. So my room is on the first floor underneath a stairwell. So there's this creepy, six, creepy little closet, like straight out of the movie, The Sixth Sense. Um, and apparently I can open this. So if I never come back and you never see this footage, um, okay. Hopefully there's not like some demonic gremlin living under the stairs. All right, well, it's really dark, but yeah, there's some bathroom cleaning supplies and then just a, a wall that's the bottom of the staircase. So yeah, I lock the bathroom door at night. Who knows if something comes out after dark. I'll let you guys know in the morning if I can even lock this thing. Oh, but yeah, creepy little closet under the stairs. Hopefully, uh, yeah, I've seen too many horror movies. I know usually what happens with these things, but that is it. That is the room I'm staying at here. What's up in the White Birch Inn? So a very cozy room, great for a weekend getaway in Door County. I should also add that the room was a little bit pricey. It was $150 a night with taxes. Uh, almost every hotel was booked this weekend. It's Labor Day weekend up here in Door County. And um, out of desperation and wanting to try something new and unique, I went ahead and booked this. And it was worth it. I think it definitely was worth it. It's a nice room. It's a good location here in Sturgeon Bay. So if you're ever looking to book a room in the area here in Door County, I do recommend the White Birch Inn. It's not a bad place to stay. And there's more I can show you. Let me show you the lobby and there's a restaurant here as well. So let's go see this. I almost forgot to mention too, the carpet here actually goes up the wall. So it acts as a floor base all throughout the room. It's very 70s as well. It, it, the, it, the whole walls aren't carpet as you can tell, but they do have a carpet floor base. Probably not the best idea by the front entryway because people are going to be kicking their feet, wiping their feet on the carpet, which dirties it. And obviously it's hard to vacuum the walls. I, I can't say I've ever tried. But yeah, they have a carpeted floor base. So very 70s-esque. Another thing I just noticed is that is birch wood. It, 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 they're imitating birch tree bark right here for the room numbers. So ah, a little clever there, the white birch inn. I see what you're up to, sticking with the theme. So um, my room is like in this secret entryway. And also I wanted to add to, it's kind of weird, I meant to ask, or meant to say this earlier, the blinds at night, like you can kind of see through the cracks. So that's, I guess that's one thing I didn't really like about this room is if people are coming in and out late at night, they can actually kind of see me sleeping in bed if they uh, wanted to be weird and peek in. But uh, yeah, luckily I, I don't think I've had that problem. So one thing to keep in mind if you're staying in room 115, it's the only room that has these blinds. But anyway, I digress. Let's walk up the back staircase to the other rooms. This is the second floor. And you can see they stick with the Victorian theme. The lamps have the lacy look to them. It's cool. Oh, wow, the lamp's even on. It's like an oil, or I don't know what you would call this, but I oh, know it's 
looks like an old kerosene lamp from uh, the late 1800s. But it's got a fake light bulb in it. Some uh, Victorian age looking women. And a very dimly lit hallway. Some lounge chairs if you want to hang out for some reason. Another old Victorian age looking photo. And uh, yeah, that is the complete tour of the second floor. And you have a side door. If you use this door for any reason, please be sure to pull it tight. Right here. Uh, with this kind of a... <laughs> looks like almost like a rotting staircase that goes outside. But uh, yeah, there's the roof uh, of the first floor down below. There you have it. That is the second floor at the White Birch Inn. This is my favorite part of the hotel is the lobby. The lobby has a lot of very cool decor. You can see this chandelier with deer antlers or elk antlers. And that is a reindeer or a caribou, I believe, hanging on the wall. Another look at that. Antler chandelier. Hello. <laughs> and uh, this is a beautiful fireplace they have here in the lobby. Can hang out and there's sticking with the theme again the white birch tree wood decor all along the walls it's very cozy i like it very cozy um have not seen the fireplace lit don't know if they do looks like they probably use it sometimes um, and looks like they got some logs ready to go some birch tree logs to fit with the theme uh, it's almost got like a american southwest kind of feel to it actually the fireplace itself, not the birch trees, but the fireplace. So yeah, I really like the lobby here. Very outdoorsy, very cozy. And yeah, there you are. Welcome. Here is the restaurant attached to the hotel. It's called Samuelson's Creek Pub and Grill. They've got a craft brew and a menu here as well. They're, I guess it's Saturday night steak tonight. It smells delicious. Let's see if we can take a quick peek and there's a kind of another cool formal sign of the Samuelson, Samuelson's Creek Pub and Grill. Let's take a quick peek. And there's the bar. I think I'll grab a beer later. And they got some nice seating, a salad bar. And uh, actually a really cozy looking restaurant they got here. I like uh, the wood trimming and the lights. I like the old decor like I've said over and over again. An old sewing machine. And look at the lights that they have hanging around the windows. Very cozy restaurant. I, I'm, I don't have time to eat there today. I've got some other places in mind, but next time I come here, I'll definitely try a ribeye steak, I think, here at the pub. I really like this lounge over here. This is cool. They've got another fireplace. Um, yeah, and a hidden bar that's tucked away with some rifles and the Samuel, Samuelson's Creek sign right there. The sign says it there, the best kept secret. It's kind of hidden behind these branches in Door County. So talking to some of the people that work here, they said that part of the restaurant is over 100 years old, but most of this hotel was built back in the 1980s. So not a super old structure. I don't know much more about the history than that, but I will say that this is a nice cozy hotel to stay at. I do recommend if you are planning a trip to Door County, check this place out, the White Birch Inn. I've enjoyed my stay so far and uh, it gets the job done and they've got a nice restaurant inside too. So definitely check it out. This is Eric with the Get Me Out of Here vlog. It's time for me, well, to get out of here. That's my saying, but actually I'm gonna be staying here tonight. So it's time for me to get out of here now. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay, things have changed. I just did my outro and things have changed. Just talked to another one of the employees here and he blew my mind with this information. I am still, well, this may or may not be the actual hotel property. The hotel is right, right here, just 100 yards away from me. And right next door is this, the Southside Cemetery. Lest we forget 1869, there was an old cemetery literally right here next to the parking lot of this hotel. And he told me that this hotel is parts of it over 100 years old and they have all kinds of paranormal activity and ghost stories of the White Birch Inn. So this completely just changed things for me. Um, I, as you know, if you watch my channel, I do haunted locations. I'm fascinated with the paranormal. I've had some personal experiences myself throughout my life. 
and uh, boy, this just uh, got me very excited and a little nervous about staying here tonight, but I can't wait. Um, all right, well, let's check out this cemetery. This video is gonna be a little bit longer than I was expecting. And then we will go back in and grab a drink at the hotel restaurant and hear some ghost stories. Man, it just keeps changing by the minute. This is why I love exploring new places, places I've never been before, because oftentimes they will surprise you. And this is the old cemetery. This is creepy. It's like something straight out of a Stephen King movie. I don't see a whole lot of graves. Which makes me wonder if I'm walking on them and don't even know it. They still have birch trees though. As you can see, here's a small birch tree. These trees are very common in the northern United States. Beautiful trees. I love birch trees. Oh, here's some graves here. Oh my gosh, this is creepy. Look at these graves. There's not much to them. They're little wooden sticks in the ground. Look at that. There's no names. Are you kidding me? That is the hotel right there. And there is a cemetery right here. It's, what is this made out of? It's made out of like metal. It's like rusty metal graves. Oh my gosh. And that is the hotel that I'm staying at. In fact, my room is right there in the corner. What the heck? Now look at these birch trees here. These are very beautiful. It's a group of three birch trees. There's even a decayed bench with moss all over it, just sitting, pointing towards this abandoned cemetery. Man, look at this freaking tree over here. This looks like straight out of a horror movie. All right, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get closer to this. Will you look at this? This tree looks like it is straight out of a horror movie. Look at this tree. Oh, wow. Jeez, this is the perfect Halloween tree. You can't make this stuff up. Wow. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, and look at this. Here's some graves right there by this creepy tree. This is literally straight out of a Stephen King movie, isn't it? Hotel, old hotel by an abandoned cemetery. Philip Riley, 1826 to 1902, Civil War. A Civil War vet. Louis G. Everson, Spanish American War vet, 1876 to 1932. So we have the old tombstones of past war veterans next to this incredibly creepy looking tree. Oh, this is amazing. What happens at night, do you think, when the sun goes down? Do you think there's orbs that float around out here? I do not know. And that looks like it's somebody's property, so I'm not gonna go wandering over there, but yeah. And then you've got this big patch of woods back here as well. even left quarters on top of the grave. All these graves, there's quarters, there's nickels, there's pennies. This is insane. And then it just ends. There's these birch trees protruding out of the ground and then it's just nothing but woods. Oh my gosh, it's almost like a doorway right here, right? Just walk right through this, and then it's just the woods. It almost looks like there's a trail that goes back here too. Oh, I'm getting Blair Witch Project vibes. And a ravine down below. 
I don't think I I feel like I've probably left the cemetery but um, yeah that's all I can see and then the trail just disappears into this ravine Wow this is incredible what a find I'm now staying at a haunted hotel next to a creepy old cemetery birch tree in there's a nice cobweb right there too all right well there's not really a whole lot more to see here the sun is setting and the bartender said that he has a complimentary drink for me so i'm gonna go seat myself at the bar enjoy a drink and then uh, have one more special ending for you before this video is over and i will be sleeping with one eye open holding my pillow tight it's a metallica quote look at this tree though i am and just i'm in love with this tree I have a branch stuck on my foot. Oh, it's like Evil Dead. The tree's trying to grab me. Oh, all right. Well, rest well, spirits. I'm going to head back inside for a nightcap. And I will see you guys in a little bit. So I'm at the restaurant, am I recording? So I'm at the restaurant here in the hotel and they gave me a complimentary drink so I chose to go with a cocktail, a very cherry brandy, it's excellent. Door County is known for cherries. They produce a lot of fresh cherries here in the county so I had to go with the cherry drink. It's excellent, it's spectacular. And I uh, was learning a little more about the ghost stories here in the hotel as well, apparently the most haunted rooms here are 107, 108, and 109. They have uh, lights that flicker, footsteps that can be heard, and apparently there's a notorious ghost named Stan that likes to cause a little mischief here. He knocks over the chalkboard in the main uh, check-in area from time to time. That's what they're telling me. So luckily I am not staying in any of those three rooms. I'm staying in room 115, but I will uh, you know, let you know if I see anything in there. It's gonna be kind of a wild night maybe. So anyway. I'm gonna enjoy this drink and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. So this is a Door County special. Yes. So I met this awesome girl named Molly that's a sailor. And she's from Door County, and she said that they have a drink here called Bitter. It's not a drink, it's she and Dora Bitter, and you do shots of it. So we're taking a shot of this. This is a Door County thing, so cheers, Molly. Cheers, everybody. I always tap down drink. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Malort is a lot better. Yeah, like it's an amazing thing. The bitters were good. Cheers, guys. If you're in Door County, you have to do a shot of bitters. It does. It does. The bitters do taste like rotten cherry syrup, but they're not that bad. All right. So. Guys, uh, can you name this Packer right here? If you can name that Packer, I'm not even a Packer fan. Didn't even know who this guy was, but if you can name this Packer, let me know. This is the ultimate Wisconsin vlog, by the way. So if you can name this man right here, this Packer, uh, congratulations. I didn't know who he was until like five minutes ago. Hold up. This is a this is a Wisconsin drink. Wisconsin drink, you know. Right. Yeah. This is a Wisconsin drink, guys. Bitter, this is bitter uh, shot. Uh, my name is Eric. We're welcoming Eric into Wisconsin. I told you he's now a Packers fan. Go Packers Pack, fan. go! All right, go, go Pack, Pack, go! I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Cheers, guys. Stepped on drink. Woo! Oh, I love it. Whoa! That's not bad. Smooth. Yeah. That's not bad. All right, guys. Welcome to Wisconsin, that's how you get in. Right here. All right, peace out.